Uh, hi, I'm Sankey. I'm a current president of DNAD and I'm also one of the founders of the interactive agency uh, All of Us in London. Um, so I've been asked to talk about the, um, the Call for Entries campaign, which was, um, I thought, a really lovely idea from Work Club, um, who they asked me about um, what, does, what does the president do? What, what are your responsibilities? And I kind of said, you know, we've got the annual that I'm responsible for, and there's some events which I have to talk to, it's, uh, you know, um, and, you know, kind of advising them on what happens in the industry. And uh, they said, presidents give speeches. We've looked at this, and then presidents give speeches around the world. Um, we think you should give a speech. And I was kind of, okay, it didn't really seem like much of an idea, but I was like, okay, it's simple. And they said, um, through talking to them, we, I think, as I said in the press conference, we have this sort of notion of being, having a UK voice or an English voice, but with a, an, an international sort of reach. And they said, well, what about doing the same speech in 16 languages? And I just laughed. It was such a, it's, it, it's, it's so simple an idea. It's almost not even really an idea, which I really loved. And also it was quite timeless. Like you could have done it 20 years ago and you could do it in 20 years time. Well, you wouldn't do it in 20 years time now, but I, I quite liked that. The, the sense of it was, it was probably going to age well to a certain degree. So um, we, we worked with, uh, they wrote one script and then they, we got it translated through um, uh, a company called Tag who have owned this um, sort of uh, translation agency called World Writers and we, they translated it and then they sent me some scripts in a big pile and I had 10 days to um, try and learn the, I had some audio files to try and learn them basically phonetically but from listening to um, the, uh, the, the audio sort of files but um, my, my um, language is, is as I said one of the, um, the skills I really don't have in life um, but I wanted to kind of try and make sure that it was um, it didn't look like it was it was making a joke it was kind of serious but um, so that um, it really at least felt like I was genuinely trying because I was I really genuinely tried to learn them as much as I could in 10 days I I, I, I mean I literally I was I had them on in my headphones permanently even though I was working and then I played it at night in my bedroom like to see if I actually went in sort of subliminally um, my dreams were very weird for about two days I mean like, like the walls kind of started talking to me in my dreams and, and, and things like that and um, so on the day we had a two day shoot of which I had an hour to deliver each one of them and that's really when it sunk in what on earth what is I kind of doing there and what I loved about everybody is no one really ever knew on the crew or any, really how it was going to really go or if it was going to be okay and basically it was me that had to deliver it we didn't have there was no tricks there was no kind of post-production really in it it was all kind of to camera but um you know I really liked it it was a lot harder than I I imagined but apparently some of it is understandable and um that's good and I didn't manage to sort of insert the wrong word and, and kind of say something offensive and and it definitely wasn't um, a joke at all it was it was it was it was there was definitely a certain sense of sort of wit and, and uh, it's sort of whim it was like a whimsical element to it but um it was really serious and it's really just trying to understand other people's kind of really get close to other people's culture it's really important you know we're looking at doing different programs around the world and it's really important to to try and understand each other and probably the first thing you you should arrive at is to to try and speak people's language um I apologise to anybody that I offended. I've had a lot of email. I don't think I offended anybody. But um, I, I really like the fact that it was just a very simple idea. Um, and we've had a really, like, a, quite a bumper year in terms of entries. And I don't know the specifics of how that activated the, the specific entries. But um, it's a, we've had a really good year um, that we're about to judge in three weeks. So um, hopefully it was actually down to some of the campaign. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs>